Hello friends, I'm Dee, about to react to this vid by Spill Sesh. This is the Met Gala was a mess. The Met Gala just happened. Um, this is the one where they focus on the fashions, right? Um, so yeah, we're going to see, you know, why it was a mess, how people was dressed a mess, and all that good stuff. Let's watch. But this was her happy birthday and Mr. President. Before I start this video, I'm gonna apologize right here for the audio because I plugged in my mic, but it was recording through my laptop. It so happens. let's bear with each other. Technical difficulties happen. They happen. I just had one on another video. Sorry about that. Others Again. together as we recap the Met Gala. I'm sorry, and I love you, and let's get into the video. You guys, I thought that this video was going to be able to wait until tomorrow, but honestly, I can't because the Met Gala, the Met Gala this year, it was a mess. I'm so sorry, and a went to work, but everybody on the internet agrees that they don't know what was going on in the carpet this year. I will say there were a lot of people that I did like, but there were a lot of people that I had a lot of questions for. I just want an explanation. I just want to like sit Kylie, down and what? be like, mm, when you met up with the designer, what what conversations did you guys have? Because um, I didn't know snapbacks were seen as like gilded glamour. Let's just Google gilded glamour for a second because that was kind of the theme for tonight. I'm I mean, right. I'm just a little confusion. But anyway, oh, the iconic oh, Met Gala took place tonight, which is the first Monday in May. The last one felt so recent as COVID pushed it to last September. So mm -hmm. it wasn't just like a year ago. It was a couple months ago, the last one. But this year it was back on schedule, business as usual, sort of, minus people not following the theme, which honestly, mm -hmm. there's always people that don't follow the theme. But I feel like a lot of people were just extra mad this year. And honestly, every Met Gala just seems to be like there's more yeah, and more people that are upset about bitch. something. But I will say that there yes. were less problematic YouTubers there. So maybe we're growing. I don't know. But anyway, this year the theme was America, an anthology of fashion or gilded glamour. And this is the second part of the Costume Institute's exhibition, which the first part opened in September. A lot of people were kind of confused because it sounds very similar to last year's Met Gala theme, which was in America, a lexicon of fashion. But regardless, Social media had a lot to I'm say about it because they felt like a lot of people were not on theme. Let me tell you guys, Lady Whistledown herself was there because she was about to talk some smack, I'm gonna tell you that right now, for how many people were just showing up like they were going to a freaking wedding or something. Oh no. <laughs> I get you a comedian, but you're off the clock. You don't gotta make us laugh at the Met Gala. <laughs> every single Met Gala, like I said, there's so many opinions and everything the clock. like that. The Kardashians, though, always opinions surrounding them. And we're just gonna talk about them for a couple seconds here because they were honestly the talk of the town right at the end there. They were like one of the last to show up. And those sisters, I just, um, Courtney had some bandages on her waist. Kendall had no eyebrows, but her dress was gorgeous. Chloe looked like she was getting ready for the next Keeping Up With The Kardashians promotional pictures. Chris was yellow. And Kylie, Ky you guys, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what was going on here. The snapback, um, I just need a little bit of an explanation. Mm -hmm. Like, I just, I need to hear what was going on here. Um, but a lot of people were disappointed in Kylie. Oh, okay. Kim though, Kim. She was wearing Marilyn Monroe's iconic dress and everyone was going crazy for her outfit. But this was her happy birthday and Mr. President dress and Kim had the honor of wearing it to the Met Gala. She also brought Pete as her date, which people That's loved right. seeing because people are just obsessed with the two of them right now and I'm really? really happy for Kim that she is happy and seemingly in a really good relationship right now but really? of course the family very controversial a lot of people have a lot of things to say about it especially miss kylie but before we get into <laughs> some influencer news because you know i gotta tell you guys Stop about me. the influencers that were at the met gala i will say that some of my favorites from the night are of course a blake okay. lively she ate she ate i mean so there pretty. was a middle of the carpet quick change i mean hello of course i was gonna love this one this was beautiful i also really loved frederick robertson's outfit a lot of people were thinking that this was jared leto but it was not normani 
oh my gosh i love this so so much and she also had like glitter on her stomach and it was shimmering as she was going down the carpet and it was amazing i also really love billy's outfit as well i don't love the colors but i just felt like she was very on theme it's and giving really horror this. movie and then okay. this one is a little controversial it's a little controversial you guys but i actually really liked emma chamberlain's outfit so you know let's just dive into the influencer world let's talk about right. the youtubers they, i can't let's believe talk they about did. the tiktokers let's talk about everybody that was from the internet that got invited to the met gala Emma was one of the first people to arrive. I mean, she was so dressed cute. by Louis Vuitton, oh, which is no surprise, as she has worked with them for years. And they yes, dressed her yes. last year at the Met Gala. And if you're wondering why Emma was there in the first place, she was invited by Vogue to interview beach. celebrities for their Vogue YouTube channel. I think it makes sense that they want a YouTuber to be the face of their YouTube channel for the Met Gala to drive views. They've asked Eliza Koshy to do it in the past, and Emma was asked to do it last year, and they brought her back once again. I really did love her outfit but there's obviously mixed opinions all oh over online goodness. some people were saying it was giving sheen vibes or people were just mad about the mixing of gold and silvers but i actually felt like it was pretty on theme compared to a lot of people and i liked the new hair on her so it kind of seemed 50 50 with what people were saying about her outfit but i liked it now as for the other youtubers YouTube invites a select few YouTubers or celebs with the YouTube channel to go to the Met Gala to represent the company. For the last few years, they've been doing this. And if you don't know, the Met Gala is literally the event of the season for fashion and celebrity. And it's basically a dinner party and an art exhibit all at once. Companies, designers, and rich people in general I invite the inside. at the event and invite That's select people. Carpet. And, and these here? people that are eating? invited all have to be approved by Vogue's editor-in-chief, Anna Wintour, in order to go. And when asked how they kind of select which youtubers or influencers are going to go to the met gala youtube's top fashion executive he is the head of fashion and beauty at youtube derek blasberg explained when he was interviewed as you may or may not know anna personally approves every guest who attends the met gala each year blasberg said of youtube's invitation process so our choices are made in tandem with vogue and it seemed like Vogue and YouTube decided to go in a very no drama direction for the choosing of who they were going to bring to the Met Gala this year. They invited Marquise Brownlee, Alexa Chung, Mark Rober, and Lena Situation. I like that black um, tech dude. I don't know how that about he Lena. Cute. They were obsessed with the fact that she was invited and they were really right. excited he about her good. outfit. Everybody else, they were kind of like, hmm very Met Gala theme, but excited to see you there. Definitely opted to avoid drama entirely this year, that is for sure. Last year, they invited Addison Rae, who received a ton of backlash for her appearance on the oh, carpet and was heavily criticized for her outfit. They also invited Eugene from the Try Guys, Nikki Tutorials, and Jackie Iona. Oh, the year Nikki. prior to that, before COVID, YouTube invited Lily Singh, James Charles, and Madeleine Petch from Riverdale. She has a YouTube channel, and so they were selected. Casey Neistat really had know. also been selected to go to the Met Gala before. So this is how YouTubers Pretty get to go to you. the event. If not through YouTube, then they are invited by a designer themselves or a company like Instagram. The few that were invited this year did recognize the significance of going to the Met Gala and posted on social media expressing how out of place they felt to be in attendance. Marquise Brownlee oh, said on Instagram and tagged Mark and said, look for the fish out of water on the red carpet. And he even posted his whole getting ready process on his Instagram story saying oh, that black Met Gala you. fit. No, seriously. Tux time. Like he himself couldn't even believe that he was going. He also tweeted out saying, headed to the Met Gala real quick. Be right back. No, actually. TikTokers did make their own appearance at the Met Gala. Addison Rae went back. for the second year in a row. Not with YouTube though. Avani also was invited. It kind of seemed like she went with Instagram based on her Instagram story. She was promoting Instagram and it just seemed like they were the ones that invited her to go and obviously just like last year people She's were cute, very much she? like why is Addison Rae there why are tiktokers there what's going on very very upset about this whole thing but someone who wasn't upset about it was Charlie D'Amelio she was very happy to cheer on Avani very happy to see her on the Met Gala red carpet she put on her own Instagram story saying yes ma'am Avani you look so good I'm obsessed now a lot of people just felt like the whole theme was turned from gilded glamour to funeral though a lot of people on twitter were saying the theme is not funeral why just why can't even reach the minimum the met gala theme versus what we're getting 
Others said, this megalotheme was the easiest to follow. How did people get it wrong? I just think that there you should be some kind of penalty instituted up. for being invited to the Met Gala yet completely missing the theme. I just feel like the Met Gala should- I want to see the people who who making these comments. Show, that fa show them. Please show them. I guarantee they are crusty DMing from their mama house using their Wi-Fi. Like, come on. They have the most to say. It's wild. Condition. Don't know nothing about fashions, nothing about nothing, and you doing all this complaining and, and running your mouth online. Upon arrival, like an outfit check at the door. And if you're not on theme, you're getting sent home. Sorry, the local mall is down the street. Let's try again. No. What's the point of a theme if only three people are going to listen? Why else I mean, pay? definitely based off of the photos, I wouldn't have been able to guess what the theme is, but that's honestly every year. I know what the fuck gilded kind of fashion like is. I ain't never heard that in my life. All over the place compared to well, every other it, year. And it felt like a lot less hyped than any other year, but I feel like it was because the last one was just what? so close to this one. So maybe not. Next year, things will change, and celebrities and influencers will be a lot Last more year. motivated to dress on theme and really go all out in order Where to is... make people happy on social media. And even though the Met Gala isn't for like the people, and it really is based on the Met itself and the exhibit that they're people. putting on and the whole event, the carpet is just such an iconic and special time that I feel like people should want to go all out and dress yes, up and just have fun. But I guess like a snapback is care. pretty fun for some people in this mock-up wedding dress. No, kind of like vibes, You know, and she like needed to go to the bathroom and like went into the middle of the street anyway that's just what the whole thing was bringing me i definitely want to know what you guys think listen i don't know nothing about fashion so i can't say you know if, if this was given or not you know y'all could be the judge of that sure um like i said though i want to see the inside they quick to show us all their dresses and all that shit I want to see what y'all doing in there. I want to see the food. I want to see the art shows or whatever is taking place once y'all get inside. That's what I want to see. This red carpet, this is boring. I want to see what y'all doing. What are y'all doing in there? Why is this so important? Why is this a thing? Why is it interesting? I, I want to know what's taking place once y'all are inside. And they don't focus on that because what... She did show a picture, though, so that made me even more interested in, like, you know, what's going on. Uh, but, yeah, Kylie looked crazy. A few other people look crazy, but I, I think that's the point of Met Gala. You're supposed to be, like, avant-garde and over the top, and it's supposed to kind of look crazy. I thought that was the point, but, you know, whatever. What do I know? Y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what the videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all next one. Bye!